The last thing that you need to do after designing a research proposal is to evaluate whether it will work or not. There are a few component parts of this. First, you need to address whether the method assigned to you, such as observation, self-report, between subjects experiment, etc., is actually a good way to answer the question of interest. Second, you need to critique the weakest part of your research design. Finally, you need to acknowledge if there are ethical issues with your proposal, but hopefully there aren't. Sometimes, because of constraints that exist in the world, such as funding, you might not be able to answer a question with the exact data that you want. You might have to do a shorter study instead of a multi-year study. You will also have those constraints in this class, but mostly because we give them to you. We will ask you to design a specific type of study, such as a self-report correlational study. Part of your job will be to address how well a study of this type can answer the question of interest. For example, it should be obvious that answering if blood sugar levels are related to angriness will not be answered well by a self-report of how hungry someone is. In that case, you would criticize the method as not producing the data required to answer the question. This is also known as a method mismatch. Sometimes the given study is the best way to address the question we're interested in, in which case you would explain why it is a good type of study. As scientists, we should always doubt ourselves. We should be making sure that the procedure we use could actually address the question. I've never designed a study that I thought would perfectly answer some question. There were always compromises that I needed to make. It was up to me, though, to identify those limitations and say why the procedure was still valid. And you have the same job here. The best thing to do for this section is to design a study as well as you can, describe the weakest part of your study, and then say why it doesn't make the whole study bad. Finally, though, hopefully this won't happen, you need to describe any ethical violations you commit. Remember, an, uneth an unethical study could never be done, so that doesn't make it a very good study. You should strive to identify possible ethical violations in your research procedure and change your research procedure so that there are no violations. If you do that, all you need to say is that there are no ethical problems with your study design. If it's impossible to design an ethical study, you should at least point out the ethical problems that exist.